Hello everyone and welcome to VirtualX and uh, today I'll be showing you how to create a virtual machine in uh, Google Cloud platform. So before uh, going and creating a virtual machine in the Google Cloud, uh, we need to create uh, our account uh, on the Google Cloud and to do that you need to put in uh, your credit card details uh, for the eval evaluation version for 60 days and uh, they would be uh, uh, detecting uh, one dollar uh, and uh, that's only for the evaluation version and if you want to go ahead and uh, use the, those v virtual machines which you have created or any services that you're using on the Google Cloud that would be dependent upon uh, the uh, on the rates that uh, they, they are offering so I would be suggesting you to go over the evaluation version first and uh, just evaluate uh, this particular Google Cloud platform so uh, once you have created a Google Cloud account, uh, you need to go ahead and cl uh, click on my account uh, or rather my console. And here I have already created a, a project. So if you need to create a, your own project, just go ahead and name the project here and uh, select any project name and or type in the project name and uh, click on create and it would be created. So I would be using test, that, that's what I created. Uh, it would be by default uh, giving you some dashboard information like uh, the CPU percentage, usage and requests per seconds on your box and the disk uh, input output uh, usage. So uh, uh, these are the uh, information coming out from my virtual machines that I created. So to create a virtual machine you need to go to compute and uh, under compute you'll find uh, compute engine so under that click virtual machine instances that's vm instances so you can see here i've created uh, uh, four virtual machines uh, two uh, linux based and two uh, windows based so let's let's go ahead and uh, create a new virtual machine uh, for Windows 2012 so I would uh, go to new instance and here I'll be giving the instance name so all in lowercase test uh, zone uh, I would uh, leave the zone as it is there will be uh, uh, quite a multiple zones that uh, Google Cloud offers so just stick with the default one as of now so and even the machine type I would be uh, taking only one watch CPU with 3.75 GB of memory uh, these are the offerings from uh, the Google so standard machines uh, you would be getting one w one virtual CPU and uh, the maximum you can get 32 virtual CPU and 120 GB memory and for the high CPU machines uh, and uh, the list goes on so just we would be uh, using the minimum uh, configuration as of now the boot disk we would be going for uh, the windows so I'll be selecting Windows Server 2012 R2 Data Center Edition with 50 GB of uh, disk space or uh, that the standard persistent disk type. I'll be selecting the same standard persistent disk and the size for the disk is 50 GB. Uh, that's it. So let's uh, click on create. So you can see there uh, our virtual machine instance Windows 2012 test is creating. So let's wait for a minute or two so that uh, the creation of the virtual machine is completed.
okay my virtual machine has been created so you can see here uh, windows 2012 test so let's see what's the ip address uh, and the default network so here we need to note few things uh, whatever we have mentioned while creating the vm instance that's the zone the disk that we selected and the network so uh, let me let me t brief you one thing that we did not select the network settings it took the default google cloud network settings here and we can see here the ip address of the windows 2012 test is 107.167.182.229 so let's try to uh, go ahead and try to ping this ip address and see what, what what's what's its output So the server IP address is uh, pinging and it's up and running. So let's try to access this box through RDP. So we are not able to RDP. So it's giving remote desktop can't connect to the remote computer for one of these reasons. So let's check the network connectivity settings for this uh, particular virtual machine. We have to go to networks. So there is a static IP address. Let's compare if it's the same IP address that is getting conflicted here. It's 107.167. Okay. So we can do one thing. We can delete this. and create a new static IP address for our Windows 2012 test here it is put a description test IP for 2012 so, uh, so the test IP has been created and it is in use by this particular VM that we created just now so let's try and check uh, now if we are able to uh, access this box and able to ping this box Let's once again double check the IP address 107.167.182.229 We are getting the reply from the box that it's up and running Let's go ahead and try to RDP into this box now And here you go, we get the login screen So we need the username and password uh, to login into this box so we can get this username and password from this particular VM instances page. Go to the VM instances page and uh, on the last option where you see connect, just click on those three dots and it will pull up uh, the menu for you. and. Uh, you have an option here which says create or reset windows password so just click on that give a username to your box 
to login I would select VirtualX just set the username and here you go so you have the password here so you just need to save this password you will, you will not be again getting that so just make sure that you just copy this password and paste it somewhere uh, in a secured place now we'll try to log in with this username and password that we created And uh, here we go.